From this statement leaf diagram, we know that the mode of this distribution is 35, which means 35 is the co most common outcome, most common result here. And then you find that 35 already appear twice. At the same time, we also find 53 appear twice. So in order to make the only mode is 35, we, of course we have to ensure that A is 5. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is, uh, this B here can be 3 or 4. Can it be 3? We have to think about it. If this is also 3, then we have 1, 2, 3. 3, 50, 3 here. In those cases, we have to say that the most are 50, uh, 35 and also 53. And they did not mention about 53, which means that it can't be 3. It must be 4. To avoid that, 53 appear 3 times. So which means that in this question, it's only possible combination for A and B. But somehow, uh, remember in DSC, it's possible that we have more than one group of solution. Maybe we have two combinations fulfill all the requirements. But anyway, in this question, it's good that we only have one choice here. So once we have this finding, we have to write it down uh, since the mode is 35. So we know that A must equal to 5. At the same time, B can't equal to 3, which means that B must be 4. Because the statement leaf diagram is in order, must be 3 or 4 here, because it's placed in the middle. Okay, afterward, we are going to get the range. Range is so simple, just use the maximum, 62 minus the minimum, 24. The difference is 38, we get the range already. And then next item is about IQR. For IQR, we need Q1 and also Q3. So finally, IQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1. To analyze this, consider we have a bar, and then we just count how many values here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 from first row. 7 from the second row, so all together we have 24 values. Quartile here means we are going to separate to 4 quarters. So each quarter we have 6 values. When we talk about Q1, we should mean the value between the first quarter and also the second quarter. So we are counting the 6th uh, value and also the 7th value are the most middle one because we don't find the most middle value. So we get the average of these two. You find that the 6th data is 33 while the next one is 35. Therefore, Q1 is equal to 33 plus 35 and then we get the average divided by 2, so which is 34. And similar reason for Q3 here. This is the 18th data and then together with the next one, 19th data, because there is no value exactly in the middle. So 18th data we may just inversely count here. So this is 19th. 53 and also the previous one is 49 so 49 and 53 again we are going to get the average which is 49 plus 53 and then divide by 2 we have 51 here so therefore IQL is equal to 51 minus 34 so we get 17 that's how you get part A and then in part B we're talking about two teachers are now leave the school that means we are going to withdraw two values. Uh, it's become 24, uh, two values left. And then we find out that the mean of the distribution unchanged. Uh, the only condition that we did not change the mean is the mean of those two teachers are exactly the same as the mean. Otherwise, if we have lower uh, age teachers leave, then you will make the rest, the remaining mean become higher than before. So in reverse are the same. So that's why in case that the mean do not change, which means that the mean of those two teachers who leave are the same. So therefore we are interested in the mean of this set of values. To get the original mean, we just simply add all these together divided by 24 values. If you write in this way with a pattern that you are trying to add all the numbers together, then this kind of presentation is good enough. Make sure you don't make any careless mistake, then you'll get the original mean is equal to 41. Which means that the total age of those two teachers is equal to 41 times 2, which means 82. So basically we are searching for is there any two teachers are uh, their age add together become 82. 
and then we start to analyze. In order to have the greatest possible standard deviation, that means we are going to remove something very concentrated in the middle. So the rest who left are more diverse. So for this case, greatest possible standard deviation, we try to remove someone really near to the original mean. We find 41 and 41, which are exactly the same as the original mean. So this is the best person to achieve this target. You have to write down your rationale for the greatest possible SD. We are going to remove something, someone very close to the mean. So we have to remove 41 and also another 41. So you find out the rest of the data, which is 22 values. And then we can get the SD from that values. So therefore, the greatest possible SD is just the SD of the rest of 22 values. Uh, you don't have to write in this way. It's just show you uh, what you have to input. So use mode 4 and then input all the values one by one to get the SD. Then you get this value. You just have to explain which one you are going to remove. So similar uh, logic for the least possible SD, we are trying to remove someone very extreme. So the rest are very condensed, are very concentrated to the mean. So basically, if it is possible, I try to remove 24 or 62. But there is one more constraint is the sum of them. That means the total of them should be 82. So we have to try some combination. Maybe I start from the small value first. If the first one is 24, then in order to get 82, the next one will be 82 minus 24, which is 58. But however, I don't find 50, any uh, teachers are 58 years old. So that's why it's impossible. That's why I just keep trying different combination until we find a suitable combination here. So the 24 not okay, then 25, 26, 27, 28. We just keep trying. So the next one required to be 57, 56, 55, and also 54. Uh, just like what we mentioned, we don't find 58 and then not 57, we just find 54 here. So all this combination is not available. The first available option is 28 and 54. It's already the most diverse case. So therefore, we are going to remove uh, 28 and also 54 because their sum is 82. At the same time, they are more extreme compared with other combination. So therefore, uh, we use the same logic that we remove 28 and 54. The rest of 22 values, we get the SD by using calculator. Then that's the end of this question.